The following is a lesson by Miss McLeod, my teacher at International High School, discussing a lesson about Henry Ford. So there's the dog, that's the seeing eye dog. And this bench was set up for a gentleman who had a physical disability like Miss McLeod. You know, you know, I walk with a cane, I have some trouble with my leg. Dr. Castro has made it so that I can come in on level ground and come to work. I don't have to go up and down the stairs and it enables me to come to work every day and I'm so happy about that because if I had to climb the stairs every day I don't think I'd be able to work but the workplace has been adjusted so that I'm able to come to work every day so a lot of jobs out there are adjusted to the needs of the people who have them and that's one thing that Ford did and that's almost a hundred years ago he made all these inventions um, so that everybody could go to work. It didn't matter what your problems were. He, he adjusted his factory. He had so many jobs in the factory. The factory was so big. And I'm going to go back a little bit to the beginning, and I wanted to show you just how big this the Rouge was. This is almost the size of a football field, and he made glass in it. And he used a lot of workers with disabilities. This is, a, this is a picture of the factory in 1936. Uh, Ford replaced the four original glass melting furnaces with two huge new ones. Each furnace was almost a half a football field long, 170 feet long. And they would pour glass for the windshields. He, did, he made all his parts. He started manufacturing all kinds of things. And this is how he cut it. And again, he worked with people who had all kinds of disabilities. He saw the value in every person. He knew that everybody had some value and could go to work. And that's basically what I wanted you to get from this, that there is work for everybody. We can all do something.